guys, welcome to this new episode and welcome back to this channel. Today we are going to learn something about numbers, hopefully quite a bit about numbers. Alright, so there's nothing really here that I need to explain, except that you're going to see me pronouncing this in my mother tongue. But there is some tips here and there that I could give you. Now, first of all, the first uh, thing to know is that we're going to learn necessarily up until 20. Because up until 20, the numbers are all irregular. And then when you get to 20, you pick again the first 10 numbers and then repeat them over and over. But we'll get there. All right, let's start. We have zero, uno, due, tre, quattro, cinque, sei, sette, otto, nove, dieci. Let's repeat up until ten one more time. So we'll have zero, uno, due, tre, quattro, quattro, cinque, cinque, sei, sette, otto, otto, nove, dieci. Ok? Now, we go from eleven to twenty. Undici, Dodici, tredici, quattordici, quindici, sedici. And here we change a little bit. We change because this time around, from 17 to actually 19, basically, we're going to have dici, meaning for dieci, right? It's the contracted version first, and then the number. So we'll have dici a sette. Dici otto, dici a nove, and then finally venti. Alright, guys, let's go one more time from 11 to 20. Undici, dodici, tredici, quattordici, quindici, sedici, dici a sette, dici otto, dici a nove, venti. Now, now that we are at 20. From 20 to basically 30, we just pick the first 10 numbers, okay? And so we have a contraction only when there are vowels. Vowels are only for uno and otto. The rest is absolutely normal. So for instance, instead of saying 20 uno, we just drop the first vowel, the last vowel of the first part, meaning Right, so E, we drop E and we attach uno. The same is for ventotto because we're not going to have venti otto, you know, but just ventotto. But the rest is absolutely identical. You just attach the due, tre, to venti. We have ventuno, ventuno, venti due, venti tre, venti quattro, venti cinque, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. One more time, guys. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Now, when we get to 30, it's the same rule applied over and over again, right? So we're gonna have 31, 32, 33, etc. Now guys, stick with me because we're gonna perform a little bit of a magic here, okay? So guys, just like that we changed our whiteboard, right? And so we'll have again the first 10 numbers, but this time around we'll restart from 30, from 30, all right? So 30, and as I was saying, um, for 21 and 28, we're going to have 31, 38, and the rest will be absolutely regular, absolutely normal. For instance, I could have 33, 33, 40, 41, 48, etc. This thing, guys, is going to last until 100, so there's no chance we're going to eliminate this rule, okay? So we have 30, 40, 
alzo, 30, 40, 50, 51, 58, 53, all right? Uh, 53, which is regular, for instance. 60, 60, 60. Guys, soft, nice and easy. 68 here, of course. 70, 70, 80, 90, 100. So we have again 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. For Miller, guys, we have 1000 is Miller, 1000 is Miller, and then since Dre Miller, since the 2000, Miller would become Miller, and so we have one L and A instead of two L's and E. So Miller, but Dre Miller. Now, guys, my suggestion is to write down numbers, okay, and then record and then try to guess what you have said. Also, record very carefully like all the numbers that you have learned thus far because that is going to be extremely helpful first of all for yourself when you have to actually say a number or when you have to say the date when you were born and it's going to be extremely helpful in general so let's start off with numbers remember 20 30 40 50 60 70 80, 90, 100, 1000 and 2000. So guys, with that being said, talk to you next time. Bye!